Is money coaching right for you? Welcome to Tea at Taxevity, where you get insights from insiders, our many clients and friends. I'm Pramod Sharma, your actuary at Taxevity. I help people transfer financial risks with life insurance, health insurance, and pensions. Our guest today is Noel D'Souza. Noel, what do you do when you're not being interviewed? Hi, Pramod. Uh, well, when I'm not being interviewed, I'm a money coach and a certified financial planner professional. And so I help my clients better manage their money. I'm in the financial world myself, and I have to admit, I don't really know what a money coach does. What's a money coach? Well, that's very common because money coaching is fairly new in Canada, and it's uh, relatively small in the number of people who perform it. So I'm part of a group called Money Coaches Canada, which does operate across Canada. And what a money coach does at its basic is we help our clients improve their financial well-being. Okay, well, why wouldn't I just go to, say, a financial advisor, a financial planner? Right. What are they doing that's different? What we do with money coaching is we really help our clients focus on their goals, um, their emotions, their um, habits around money. And what we want to do is help them build better money, money management habits so that they understand where they are right now, they're clear about where they want to go, and they have a good plan on how to get there. Okay, and is that different than financial planning? Well, financial planning typically talks about longer-term goals. So it looks at several years out to uh, maybe several decades out. Money coaching can look at the longer term, but it specializes in focusing on the shorter term, the here and now, and helping people manage their day-to-day -day finances in a way that they understand and that they're able to stay on top of their bills, understand how much money is coming in and out, um, and can use their money in a way that supports their values and helps them achieve the life they want. Who can call themselves a money coach? Well, money coach is actually a trademark term in Canada, and Money Coaches Canada has a license to use the term money coach. Uh, the coaches at Money Coaches Canada, of course, go through a training program through Money Coaches Canada, so they understand how to work with clients and the coaching aspects of interacting with clients and helping them feel comfortable, making sure that they're not judged because um, many of clients come to us already feeling maybe embarrassed about their situation, uh, though not all of them do. And we want to make them feel comfortable and welcome that they can share their concerns with us without fear that we're going to berate them or judge them or scold them. Uh, we need to know how they came to the situation. But that's only so that we can identify if there are any issues and help them resolve them. Because mm -hmm, I'm guessing the whole issue of judgment may hold people back from getting help. I think we found that to be a, a big problem when going to a traditional financial advisor. Um, the financial advice industry is replete with jargon, uh, intimidating terms. Um, people can feel very intimidated and overwhelmed approaching somebody and they don't want to feel stupid. They don't want to ask stupid what they perceive to be stupid questions. With Money Coaches Canada and with Money Coaching, we really want people to feel comfortable to bring us all their questions so that they truly feel like they're better educated, they're more empowered, and they can really get control of their money. How does a money coach get paid? So we work on a fee-for-service basis. So our clients pay us a fee, and we work in their best interest. And that's important to note because uh, we really are on the side of our clients. We're their advocates, we're supporters, we're their educators. And it's important that we provide advice to them without bias. Okay, so you're not selling any products then? That's correct. We don't sell any insurance or investment products, and we don't receive compensation in any way other than from our clients. So we may, for example, during the course of our engagement, introduce our clients to other professionals, um, people in the insurance industry or investment industry, uh, lawyers, accountants. But we never pay referral fees. We never receive referral fees from those other professionals. The only person paying us is the client, and we are working strictly for them in their best interest. Okay, well that's refreshing because mm -hmm. the financial sector sometimes has conflicts between advice and different things, so it's good that you've eliminated that in your model. Right, and that was something that was very specifically set up when Money Coaches Canada was founded, that we do want to provide unbiased advice so that our clients um, can feel confident in what we're telling them. Trust is a big aspect of what we do, and mm -hmm. our clients need to be able to trust us. We are having challenging conversations about money, and we are often uh, challenging existing habits or existing preconceptions, and helping our clients you know, 
become more and more capable in their ability to handle and manage money. And there has to be trust there. We are dealing with very intimate personal details about their finances. Uh, so they have to be willing to share that with us and um, be open to our advice as well. Mm -hmm. Which kind of people would need a money coach? So our clients actually um, range across a broad spectrum in terms of their current status and their financial ability to manage money. Typically we work with clients who do make a good income, um, perhaps 150000 plus as a family. We work with many clients, including doctors and lawyers, who are making three, four, five, six hundred thousand dollars a year. Um, but usually we find people who are professional, who are well-educated, work best with a money coach. The main characteristic, of course, is that they need to I basically understand and accept that they need help to get out of the situation they're in now or to improve their financial capability. So they have to be open to advice, they have to be willing to accept help, and they have to be able to take a proactive approach and be willing to take action. Um, as money coaches, we never operate our clients' accounts. We're never getting into their accounts and doing okay. things on their behalf. We are coaching and advising them, and so they have to take ultimately take the action. Just like with a personal trainer, a personal trainer can show you the proper exercises to do and what order to do them and how to do them safely and how to do them efficiently, when to do them to get the most benefit and can advise you about your diet, things like that, but they can't do the exercises for you. Yeah, that's Ultimately. the only thing holding me back with my well, with my fitness is that they won't just do that all. They for won't me. just do it, and and really, that's the, that's the thing. You know, there's so much information out there right now. Uh, people can go on the internet and they can find information and facts about so many things. It's not that there's a lack of information about what are the proper steps to take in your finances, but knowing what to do and actually doing it are two completely separate things. Because mm -hmm. when I think of a coach, I think of someone who is helping you develop better skills so that you can take care of yourself in the future. Absolutely. It's about increasing your capability, mm -hmm. um, your understanding, your knowledge, and really instilling the good habits that will allow you to carry forward and to continue to improve. Yeah, I, I'm surprised that the kinds of clients you have are earning good money. I thought it might be people who were having issues at that, that level. So what kind of issues do your clients typically have? If right. you had to look at, say, the top two or three Right. So in terms of the issues, some of our clients come to us where they're in a state of real financial chaos. Uh, they don't know what's coming in. They don't know what's going out. Uh, perhaps bills aren't getting paid. Even though they have lots of income, uh, they usually have lots of expenses too. And mm -hmm. they may not necessarily be in balance. Their may, money may not be getting spent in a way that's in accordance or in alignment with the way they want it to be spent if they were to stop and think about it. Mm -hmm. So they need to get a handle on that and really understand where is the money going, am I happy with how it's being spent, and am I reaching my ultimate goals. One of the big things we talk about is what are your goals? What's important to you? How do you visualize the life that you really want to live? Because if you don't have goals and you're not specific about what you're trying to achieve, you really don't have a chance of getting there. So we mm -hmm. spend a lot of time with clients talking about what is the life they want and to, to dream a little bit and to really go for what's important to them. Because given the fact that they do make good incomes, it's entirely achievable in most cases what they want to do. It's just that they've been stuck in a rut, they've been used to being in debt, they've tried many different things, maybe they've tried budgeting on their own, maybe they've tried various other techniques on getting their finances on track and it just hasn't worked for them. So they might need professional help, they might need someone to come in and show them how to do it in a different way, in a way that's worked for other people, so that then they can make real change. In some cases, we're actually uh, helping to um, iron out if you want. Let's say there might be a disagreement between the spouses about how the money is getting spent or how it's being managed, or if there's a problem, where the problem lies. So we can be an impartial third party um, to help basically shine a light on what the issues may be and to help the couple really open a dialogue between the two of them. Communication is so important. Money is still one of the things that people are hesitant to talk about. So we're trying to open that dialogue up as well. Mm -hmm. And that's very important to do. Mm -hmm. Where do these people find the money to pay you? That's a great question. And in fact, many prospective clients come to us 
and they might know a little bit about what money coaching is, and they They'll know, know a lot more after this interview. Excellent. I, I am, I'm really hoping so. Um, they know a bit about what money coaching is. Uh, they know that they need help with their finances. They know if they keep doing the same thing that they've been doing it over and over, they're not going to get anywhere better. So mm -hmm. they understand that they do need help, but they're not sure how to pay us. And what we tell them is, first of all, our first job as money coaches is to make sure you can afford to pay us. Okay. So part of our duty when we construct a budget is to make sure that they can afford us within their cash flow. Uh, we also work on payment plans so that a client doesn't have to pay us all up front, though they can if they choose to and have the money available, but we can work on a payment plan without any additional interest or cost to pay the cost of the engagement over the time we're working together. Okay, that's good. So it shows that you're you're able to help them because you're able to cover the costs of your services without impeding the other things that they're doing. That's right. And I mean, we know that they will have to make changes in how they spend their money. Mm -hmm. And part of the thing many of our clients do is they already have um, other types of coaches. They might have other personal trainers. They might have an accountant. They might have a lawyer. So they have to... They, they do recognize the value of professional advice and professional guidance. Mm -hmm. They just need to make room of that in their actual cash flow to make sure that they can afford to get those valuable services that they need. How do a client's other advisors feel about a money coach being involved? Well, what money coaches do is actually quite unique. So money coaches, for example, work quite well with financial planners. Uh, quite often financial planners want to focus on the longer term goals. So things like investing, paying for the kids' education, uh, saving for retirement, uh, insurance issues, things like that. Money coaches really focus on, for those clients who need that sort of debt and cash flow support, it's focusing on the here and now. And mm -hmm. that's very labor intensive. It's very time intensive to go through a client's you know, expenses and income and really understand what they're spending in great detail, how they spend it, what day of the month do they spend it, how do they pay? Do they pay by debit, by credit card, by cash? It's really understanding you know, a day in the life or a week in the life or a month in the life of this person and how their cash flows. And that's not something that many financial planners want to get into. So in fact, we have many financial planners who refer their clients to us if they have cash flow challenges and we can get their cash flow nice and stable so that they are able to save money, put aside money for their goals, put aside money for investing, and then they can go back to, and work on a longer term financial plan knowing that the here and now is well taken care of. Okay, that's interesting. So you do work well with other people who are advising the clients too then? Absolutely. There are some of us money coaches who provide financial planning services themselves. So I'm a certified financial planner professional. So I can do both the debt and cash flow work for my clients as well as the longer term planning. Some of my colleagues prefer to focus on the that cash flow, sort of the that aspect of money coaching, and um, and they might refer the financial planning work to myself or perhaps a financial planner who is local to their area. Mm -hmm. And how long do people typically use the services of a money coach? So that varies as well. It depends on the client's situation, their circumstances, and how much progress they've made. Uh, at Money Coaches Canada, we like to talk about what we call the seven stages of financial well-being. And most of our clients come in at various um, points along the spectrum, and it really is a spectrum. Uh, clients will move up the spectrum, and that's what we try to get them to move to the next stage. Mm -hmm. So they might come to us in financial chaos. Um, they might be avoiding their bills, so they, they might be in a financial avoidance. Ultimately, we want to get them to move from the lower stages up the ladder so that they're becoming mm -hmm. more and more stable, more and more free in their finances and ultimately get them into financial fulfillment where money is not an object. You know, getting to that stage can take a while. Uh, it can take several years. It can take a lifetime. So some clients we will work with for a few months, but what we find works best is having an ongoing relationship with our client where we can support them, where we can encourage them, where we can advise them as their needs evolve and as their concerns and goals grow greater and greater in scope. Once you've taken care of the here and now, you're able to dream mm -hmm. bigger, you're able to reach a little bit further and pursue some of those more aggressive goals. So as people move up in the seven stages, we find we can help them in different ways. What's your key message for the people watching? 
you do not need to have a lot of money to make financial advice worthwhile. I think the financial industry has uh, really tied together investing with financial advice and have made it seem like the two are synonymous, that you need to have a pool of money, that you need to have investments in order for financial advice to be worthwhile. But that's not really true. Uh, what people need is financial advice at every stage of their life so that in the first place they have the best advice on how do I start saving money? How do I come up with a basic budget or what we like to call a spending and savings plan so that they know how they're spending, they're able to direct their funds in the appropriate way, and they are able to put money aside for emergencies, for their important goals in the short term, for saving for their child's education, for buying a home, paying off their mortgage, um, and ultimately saving for retirement. They don't need to have the money already there to get financial advice. They need the financial advice first to help them understand how to get the money and how to use it in the most appropriate way. So I've worked with clients who have uh, little to no net worth in terms of their net assets that they have because they either don't own a home and have little in savings or perhaps they own a home but they have a lot in debt so they kind of balance out and, and net out to close to zero. But our clients normally have good income so once they get the here and now and once they get their cash flow sorted out they can really accumulate assets at quite a rapid rate and then they can really start pursuing those greater goals. So what I would advise people is don't wait to get financial advice. Work with someone who can coach you on your specific needs at the moment. And like I said, we work with clients along the spectrum. Uh, whatever your needs are, we can customize our engagement to focus on what's of particular concern to you. The tagline of Money Coaches Canada is taking the worry out of money, and that's what we really aim to do, is to help people become more confident, more capable, and worry less about their money. What's the best way for people to reach you? Well, they can email me at noel at moneycoachescanada.ca. They can visit our website, which is www.moneycoachescanada.ca. We offer a complimentary consultation to all prospective clients. Uh, you'll be connected with a coach uh, who's usually in your local geographic area, though not necessarily so. The easiest way to do it is to just request a consultation on the website. Um, one of our, uh, the founders of Money Coaches Canada knows what our coaches specialize in and can direct you to the coach most appropriate to serve your particular needs. You'll have a consultation uh, meeting or phone call. You can discuss your needs, um, what you're looking for, what you need help with. The coach will quote a fee based on the time and complexity of the work involved, and you can get started. Thanks very much for dropping by. Thank you very much, Promoter. I appreciate the opportunity.